G'day and welcome to GMB Nomads. This week we pack the vans, we've got our new e-bikes on the back and we head up to Heathcote. We find a free camp at the Heathcote Greytown National Park and the next day we head to the O'Keefe Rail Trail that runs from Heathcote to Bendigo. Free camp up there, there's quite a few, we're not sure which one we're going to go to yet. And then uh, we'll camp there overnight, and the plan is then we're going to go for a bike ride uh, on the Heathcote to Bendigo Rail Trail. It's, uh, what is it, the 1st first of, first of May? No, 1st of April. 1st of April, yeah. It's a fool's day, I know you may meaningly said 1st of May. <laughs> and yeah, so. Uh, the weather's pretty miserable, but we're think, hoping it's going to pick up um, this afternoon and, and be a nice day tomorrow. Wow. Well, we've arrived at Heathcote, and we're going to see the, sw the Swing Bridge. Swing Bridge. Yeah, the Swing Bridge. And there it is. It's a beauty. <laughs> oh, well, you never know unless you go and have a look. Swing. We usually get excited about swing bridges, but this one was a little bit underwhelming. After all the excitement of the swing bridge, we decided to make our way to Argyle Campsite, which is located in the Heathcote Greytown National Park. Here comes Mr. Long. We decided to go for a quick ride around the campsite. Jesus, big, big rocks here, man. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you would be coming back to find out where I am. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I think um, I got bitten by an ant, so I stopped oh, okay. to check out. So we're at the Dargol camping area on the Heathcote Greytown National Park. This is where we're staying the night. Just a quick, that's where we are over there. We've got a fire going. Over to the left there's a, a gazebo or whatever you want to call it. People are in there. And then there's the uh, Thunderbox over there. Today we went for a ride up that track there for about two or three k's. So we've had our dinner, we had pad, pad kapow which I made last night. Uh, it was beautiful and we're just, uh, just going to sit in front of the fire for a while, for a while and uh, have a red. Washing the dishes. Hello! Yeah, well, we're going to have some cold fruits out up by the fire <coughs> with our red wine. Your red wine, not mine. Yeah. Put your coat on, it's cold out here. Oh, well. <laughs> it was a nice, quiet night at that campsite. There was only three groups staying there. It was a good place to stay. How nice is this tree? Is there just like in... Mm. Yes. Okay, we're at Heathcote. We're about to do the Heathcote to Bendigo Rail Trail, or call the O'Keefe Rail Trail. It's 49 kilometres to Bendigo. We're only going to go maybe 15 to 16 k's up the road and do a Yui. It's called. This is called the Tour to, Heath, to Heathcote. <laughs> and here's the two bikes that are participating which will form the peloton. <laughs> you ready to go, Archie? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to hop on the bikes and get going. The house oh yeah, there's the van over there. Right in front of the peloton of the Tour de Heathcote. There she goes. <laughs> so 
So this is the remains of the Heathcote station. This rail trail runs between Heathcote and Bendigo and is about 42 kilometres long. The train line dates back to the gold rush days and was constructed in 1888 by Andrew O'Keefe. Trains stopped running on this line in 1956. The actual rail trail opened up in 1993. Now you go in front, sweetie. Oh, because I don't know. I can't see you. If, if you're in front, I can't see where you are, so I go ahead too far. But that's all right. Just a bit about our bikes. Um, my bike is a giant Roan E Plus, which is a hybrid bike, so it's crossed between a road bike and a mountain bike. Bobby's bike is also a giant bike, but it is uh, model is a Live Rove. It's also a hybrid uh, bike in that it's uh, you know a mountain bike crossed with a road bike. Bobby's bike is a step through. Still in front, the leader of the pack. Good. Both bikes have the same running gear. For a technical description, I'll link it in the uh, description below. As I said earlier, these are um, electric bikes. One of the great things about them is you control how much power you use. So you can ride it as a normal bike, or if you get really tired at the end of your day, you can uh, add a bit more power and uh, cruise home. The range depends basically on how much pedal power you use. If you use full battery power, you're limited to about 30 to 40 kilometers, and up to 150 kilometers on the lowest setting. Up that end there. Oh, just across the lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just around the lake. Yep. Okay. Construction of the current Lake Epilog began in 1961 and it was officially opened in April 1964. Lake Epilog is the seventh largest lake in Victoria, covers over 3,000 hectares and holds more than 300,000 milliliters, me megalitres of water when full. Another, another point, it's called Blood on the Tracks. There were some shenanigans on this part of the track. A train was derailed in this section of the track by a few locals, possibly the farmers or the workers who built the track. Apparently O'Keefe had failed to pay some of the workers and also didn't pay the uh, farmers much for their land. Someone also tried to shoot O'Keefe in uh, Bendigo, but he only got very minor injuries from it. toured the Heathcote, coming into the halfway mark at Nosley. Here she comes, big round of applause, yay, halfway there, yay. Okay, we've reached Nosley, 16.1 k's from Heathcote. <sighs> so that's probably the furthest yeah, and now we're going to head back, 16.1 k's back. All the way, we're going to have a banana and that, and then we'll have lunch when we get back to the van. How long did it take us to go? It took us an hour and 20, 35 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So an hour and 35 Yeah, minutes. but we had lots of stops. Yeah. Yeah.
Okay, so we're at their blood on the tracks stop. Just have a bit of a bit of a snack, a bit of a break. We've ridden about 20 k's so far. We've probably got another 12 k's to get back to. We're getting close to the end of our bike ride um, and all up it was about 32 kilometres. It was a good ride um, for us. Uh, we're still, I guess, getting used to riding them and also learning how to use the bikes properly. So uh, it's a good experience. We're going to do more of these rail trails. Um, they're good fun. Bring it home, Squiddy. <laughs> yeah. Well, that concludes this adventure. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Over the next three or four weeks, we're going to bring you some uh, footage of when we went to Fiji. Our adventure in Fiji starts at Nandi Domestic Terminal and we head off for uh, Savu Savu, which is a small town on the island of Vanua Levu. So please join us in the upcoming weeks as we take you to some really remote places in Fiji that not, not many people get to see. It's a fantastic country, so uh, join us next week. Till then, cheers.